Hey guys. Uh, all right, so uh, let's see what's going on. Priest. So any of the needs a priest or there are priestess? Priest, um, high priest, alchemist. Okay. Very, um, very intelligent is what I'm picking up. Um, common sense, book smart, all of it, all right? Um, and you can uh, transmute. Night, child divine, okay? Bottom of the deck, hedonist. This inspires creative energy to embrace the good things in life, celebrates the beauty in yourself. All right, let's see. Um, I'm going to pull on each with a different deck, all right? Let's start with the Alchemist. It says transform, uh, transformation of base motives and goals into golden wisdom. Let me just turn this light on real quick. Okay, so let's pull on this here. All right, Alchemist, please clarify for the collective. What do they need to know about this energy here? So we got family money, inheritances, and um, the devil. So it's like toxicity. Um, so it could be, um, I'm picking up Capricorn. Okay. I feel like you've transmuted a lot of um, negative energy. And now your Ten of Pentacles is ready. Or having to do with this Ten of Pentacles. Family money, family inheritances, generational wealth. Yeah, it's coming in now. Okay. Someone could be giving this, giving this to you. Could be Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. All right. Um, something's over with the world card being out here. Someone could be traveling to, to give you something. Okay. I feel like you were the recipient or the um, beneficiary to something, okay? And there was some toxicity surrounding this whole situation, um, but it's over now, and now it's being returned. What is this devil card? Why is this here? Please. Someone's under judgment, Capricorn, or someone's making a decision. Okay, Ace of Cups, new beginning. No one's under judgment for putting something in your food or drinks. They were celebrating this situation, okay? They were celebrating. Someone was in some toxic energy, low vibrational, did something to your your beverage or, you know, it, because they because of this ten of pentacles, they wanted it, okay? They wanted it for themselves. But something's over here. And this person's under judgment. Okay? Yeah. Ten of Pentacles. Devil. Knight of Pentacles. Judgment. Ace of Cups. Three of Cups. The world. So it's over. So this could be a celebration for you. You're starting something new. Um, it's going to make you very happy. And um, you can move forward. Like you, You'll be able to travel and picking up on traveling the world. All right. Okay, that's not for everybody, but uh, you know. All right, the night. Oh, I'm gonna use another deck, okay, for this because um, because I want to, okay. Okay, the night. I'm gonna read it. Um, it says loyalty, romance, and chivalry, a love of honor. The high priestess came out. 
some balance is being restored to your situation. Okay. Secrets are being balanced out. Things are coming to the light. Okay. Queen of Cups could be significant. Could be a water sign you're dealing with, or you have these in your chart. I'm picking up on Cancer Pisces with the um. I I usually read the High Priestess is is Cancer Cancer Pisces Scorp could be even just water, um. But I pick it up as Cancer, um. So the Queen of Cups is here too. So that's like extra water. I feel like someone could be in their emotions too. All right, yeah. Six of Cups is here. Something to do. With something happened in the past. Things are being balanced out now. Okay. I don't know what this has to do. So this could be a past life soulmate. Okay. Could be could be making a decision. Okay. They see you as very loving and compassionate. They may want to reconcile. Okay. Over a betrayal in the past. Okay. Because the Ten of Swords is in reverse. And I put it right on top of the Six of Cups. So it's like... Um, it's over. Like, whatever happened was done. And this could be involving a union. Okay? A union, a marriage, um, a kingdom, a platform, a house. Okay? I'm picking up on a marriage or, um, like, a union. All right? This is a family. Family of three. Okay? I see a little girl and a man and a woman. Okay? So, this, this is something, um, a betrayal that happened in the past. It's over, right? Um... All right, so I feel like this person is taking action to come towards you, okay? They want to reconcile. Let's see what's the outcome here. What's the outcome? Yeah, new beginning, ace of, um, ace of wands. That's a new beginning. Passion, creativity, all right? Anything else for this, pal? Someone could be um, thinking of you, okay? This is good news coming in. This person's got his hands all over the wand here, all right? That's always what I see, either like, I, I can pick up different things off the Ace of Wands. It depends on the energy of the reading. So with this, I'm picking up, someone could be thinking about you. Like, sometimes I get people doing um, magic, and other times it's just like a new beginning with passion. And But this is like spark, uh, shoot, uh, low battery. Okay, I gotta try to finish this up. Um, Let's see, so this is like good news. All right. This could also be confirmation of something you already know. All right. All right. Bottom of the deck. Yes, yeah, the hermit. It's like you already know. It's like you saw this coming. Okay. Yep. The sun. It's, it's, it's exposed. This is happiness. Yeah, this is the truth. All right. Okay. So that's that. Um, and let's do the child divine. It says, uh -huh. innocence, purity, and a redemption suggests a special connection with the divine. Okay. You could have been, um, very gifted when you were, when you were born, always had that connection with, um, source. Okay. People may have thought you were weird or wanted you to be quiet all the time because the things you would say would always come true. Okay. I feel like you, um, speak things into existence. Okay, um, so, all right, let's pull on this piece. Ooh, that was fast. <laughs> Seven of Wands, protection. You, you're protected. You're standing your ground. People are trying to block you, but you're not having it. All right. Okay, what else do we need to know about this? To Ten of Pentacles again. You stood your ground in regards to this inheritance, okay? Um, and you walked away from a toxic situation or an investment. Or you, or this is going to help you walk away from a toxic, in, you know, investment. Like, um, it's going to make you walk away. It's going to help you be able to walk away and start something new somewhere else is what I'm picking up. Yeah, you'll be able to invest, all right? You're reaping what you've sown. Um, okay. I'm picking up on... It, it was always protected. All right. People may have thought they got away with something. But, um, yeah, you can invest in, in something you do for work. Okay. Well, you can invest in yourself. Working on yourself. All right. 
Um, I feel like this is time for you to be happy. Yeah, you're going to have many options, okay? People might be, um, let me see, five of wands, four of swords. You could be healing from conflict. Something's coming in quickly. Could be communication. You're about to get communication about this. Let's see. From a queen of cups, they want to, um, they want to, um, they're trying to make a decision. They want to balance things out because I'm seeing the scale. This, or this queen of cups is finding balance to a situation, okay? Something's coming in quickly. It's going to make you very happy, okay? Very emotional in a good way. Um, it's going to bring balance to your situation altogether. Um, it's wish fulfillment, okay? And the bottom of the deck is six of cups. The emperor, you're going to receive some sort of truth from the father figure, whether it's your kid's father or your father or a boss. It's going to bring in some clarity for you and it's going to help you move forward in a situation. 11, 11. Uh, yeah, it's going to make you very happy or it's going to shed light on a situation. All right. Something about an, um, a knight of swords in a mental prison. Um, let's see. Um, They could have been gaslighting you, this Knight of Swords energy. All right. Um, someone's taking action. Um, someone could have been attacking you and leaving you in a mental prison or leaving this person in a mental prison, this Emperor energy. Um, and I'm looking at the Ace of Swords again, and the Ace of Swords is behind that, so that could be the truth. Um, yeah. They left you in this... In this um, the wounded warrior, like, um, beat up, feeling, um, at very attacked. So this could have been an attack. Yeah, on your finances, okay? And you're speaking the truth about this, or from a king of swords energy, all right? This person could be watching you. Um, this is what you don't see. It's like, um, they could be, um, messing with your dream state, I just heard, also. Um, and this is about, like, giving and receiving. I feel like, um, somebody's to give something back okay you've been given so much of yourself it's time for you to receive okay queen of wands taking action acting foolish possibly nine of wands reckless all right still this is this is still picking up from the last reading here all right let's see these two yeah um the divine uh this has to do with the marriage that broke up okay or a contract that was canceled Okay, because the um, Two of Cups is in reverse in the horror font. I should use a different deck. But uh, let's see, Queen of Swords, Two of Wands. Someone could be watching your social media. I'm feeling the energy off the last reading I just did um, off this. So Three of Swords is very disappointing. The conflict over a partnership. Okay, someone felt rejected and burdened um or they're supposed to be like happy you know like a union but uh someone wants to apologize for this that they betrayed you for a third party okay they were very sneaky they may have stolen from you you had to find your strength they were doing magic on you a very manipulative okay and they slowed you down um tried slowing you down or something to do they were doing magic on a child or yeah dark magic here this that's what this is the magician and um the page of Coins in reverse. This is the same energy here. All right. I'm going to pull out a different deck before this battery dies. I'm sorry, guys. I wonder if I can go in and delete this. But this might help somebody. So I'm just going to leave it. Um, I'm going to grab another deck, though. Real quick and, and read this. I'm going to shuffle a little better. All right. Child Divine, one more time. Please watch. The same kinds will probably come out. All right, let's see. Okay, yeah, something's over. Death in the world. Something's over. Cycle complete, okay? Uh, transformation, okay? I just feel like you were very tapped in as a child. Um, you could have been... You could have come to come here with the Christ consciousness um, tapped in. Um, you know, with God. You know, you know what I'm saying. 
page of swords, um, people, people watching you or studying you or you're doing something new, you're getting new ideas, they're protected, okay? Yeah, people could have been studying you. Like, you could have been like a case study, all right, for some of you. Um, I feel like you didn't know about this. Or someone's throwing rocks and hiding hands, but it's like you're protected from this person. You're standing your ground, all right? They're acting innocent and everything, and they're not. Some sort of communication is coming in. Could be from a, uh, a Scorpio. Um, I see Scorpio. I see Taurus. Um, what's the world, guys? I don't know. Uh, I know there's a couple uh, associated, or is that the Wheel of Fortune? Let me know if you guys know. But um, Knight of Cups. So someone's coming in. It's They're coming in quickly. They want to take action. Um, they want to tell you how they feel or something. This could be someone who was throwing rocks and hiding hands. Page of Wands energy. This is going to be good news for you. I just heard I come in peace. <laughs> so... Yeah, two of cups, okay? This person could have been, like, stalking you, like, following you, stuff like that, whether it's online because the world card is here, all right? I feel like that's, you put it, that like, that's over. The situation, um... Yeah. All right, what else? And the King of Swords, yeah. So it's about a um a partnership or a soulmate connection, two of cups, a contract. Uh, King of Swords could be this person. You could be speaking the truth um, about a Queen of Cups energy, or these are two different energies: a King of Swords and a Queen of Cups that are being crowned here, like they're crowning each other. Okay, I feel like this is a sacred union. Okay. Both divine children, okay? Probably going through the same thing or went through the same situation. Uh, that's what, that's just what I'm picking up intuitively. All right. Um, yes, yeah, sneakiness. Um, I feel like somebody got caught being sneaky with your work, stealing your work. Okay, stealing from your work or stealing from their work or whatever this is for you. Okay. Knight of Wands. All right, this person could have Scorpio heavily um, placed in their chart. Um, Leo, I'm picking up on a Leo for some reason. Um, Hierophant. Ten of Cups. So this was like a burdensome marriage or union or, or situation. Or there's a Taurus here that's letting go of the burdens. All right. Um, now I'm picking up something different. Okay. Yeah now, yeah, now I'm picking up on, on a different energy. For a second here, I just picked up on something completely different. But now it's back to the... Um, and, and this might not be for you guys. This might make sense to you. It's going back and forth for me for between two different, two different people because they both have the same sign. But um, yeah. I feel like this person's burdened because they see you're the Queen of Cups and they may have been um, shady with your work. Yeah, so um, queen, queen of Swords, uh, you could be in your like Queen of Swords energy, High Priestess, because you were dealing with some secretive stuff or some people's secrets. Um, so you could have your like guard up with this person or like your boundaries in place, protecting your energy, okay? Um but it's like you're all knowing and you have your ancestors by you. Uh, runes could be significant, okay? Runes. I'm seeing runes here. Fairies. Okay. What else? Let's close this up, please. And then I'm going to pull a few um, oracles for you. Yeah, moving into common waters, strength with the Leo. So this is a like light aspect of Leo. Um, like I said, it was like I was picking up on, a, for me, a shadow with Scorpio. I feel like they both have kind of the same.
placements and that was like the thing that's why um it may have been a little bit confusing but something's being released here feeling rejected or uh, they may have sacrificed you by making you feel rejected okay uh, an emperor has had something to do with it they may have paid them a lot of money to do this but the tower is here okay yeah the light's been shown on this and they're under judgment okay moving forward the truth and clarity okay what's behind that and someone's waiting for their ships to come in this could be expansion because the ace of pentacles is here and the four of wands is back out here someone wants to tell you how they feel okay and they they feel you know, emotional for you, for you. Like, they're in touch with their emotions. They're sure how they feel. They want you to know the tower's here, though, okay, for for this emperor or this person bossed up when it comes to their money or something like that, okay? Uh, yeah, and they're making some sort of plans to expose something or, or to be happy. Yeah, and heal or expose an unalive situation. Yeah, to expose an unalive situation. Okay, so this person's being laid to rest, the three of swords and the four of swords, okay? And it went from the four to the three, so it's like so, there's a loss here, okay? They may have sacrificed, yeah. I'm going to pull this card, it's flipped upside down. Okay, yeah, the six of cups, so nine of pentacles. I feel like somebody did something on their own, on, and this is like a past life situation that came back around, all right? Uh, betrayals, having to do with betrayals, and justice is here, though, okay? The wheel of fortune, the wheel is turning, and someone's in regret, all right? King of Wands could be significant. This person, the magician, does magic, okay? He's very foolish. Okay, you found your balance, okay? You may have been in a mental prison about this situation. It could have been like a third-party situation, like a love triangle between you with a friend. This person used to... And now I'm picking back up on the other Leo, you guys. This is so weird. All right, I feel like somebody's trying to confuse you. Someone could be manipulating this reading right now, okay? It could be that um, low vibration of Leo that just can't can't get it. Yeah, it's trying to cause emo um, illusions, okay? Um, there's like, you're a healer though. Um, so, and you're getting this new beginning, okay? With the wealthy man or this wealthy man or you're this wealthy man, okay? Or, or from this wealthy man, or whatever this is for you, okay? Celebrations are coming, all right? You're going to make it to your destination. And uh, the Nine of Cups is like wish fulfillment, okay? There could be a child on the way or something, okay? Let's pull a couple of oracles. I'll pull a couple of these. Let's see. That was fast. Confidence is your key to success, New Moon and Leo. We got time for healing, balsamic moon, balsamic moon. And then we got um, a win-win outcome is in forecast, full moon in Libra, okay? Okay, this is what I have for you guys. Um, I hope you have a good one. Uh, I'm, I'm probably not going to cut that part out. I'm just going to leave it because I feel like it's going to help somebody anyway. So, um, all right, have a great day, guys.